Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you around the world. Um, hope this video is going to help you and have fun learning. Okay, so I just want to actually begin with something just because it's more simple to show this without editing it. It is by no means the most important thing. However, um, it, it does make a big difference to us. A few of my students, when they first begin, they actually don't know how to do the rating. So uh, we generally have a conversation about this and uh, what I decided to do while I was doing this walkthrough is I thought I'd actually just show you how to um, rate the teachers too. Okay, so how to rate the tutors. Now this is where people are making uh, a small error because they're doing what I normally do. I'm a little bit lazy. I just click the X button when my lesson is finished and I go. However, we do have this red uh, leave button and that button is there for um, a reason. Okay, so uh, if you do want to rate the tutors, and as I say, it does mean a lot to us. Uh, the higher the ratings that we have, the more exposure we have to other students that uh, may be looking for us to. Um, so it, it does help. Okay, so if you want to rate us you click the red button click leave okay once you click leave you will then be directed to the rating page okay now that rating page will say how did teacher John do for example okay I'm teacher Craig I've done this um, example using my name now I've added something here just for the purpose of showing you okay now on the left hand side is an unhappy face so that is what I would consider a one and then it's a slightly unhappy face then it's a mm, I don't know face and then it's a more happy face and then it's a, a green a very very happy face okay so um, when you are rating please consider that five is the highest rating on this system and one is the lowest okay so you can also rate the performance of the teacher how you feel about the teacher you can rate uh, whether the teacher uh, is experienced enough for you makes you laugh etc etc so just a reminder down here at the bottom the ratings kind of go from unhappy to the big green smiley one uh, that's a great lesson so thanks a lot for allowing me to explain that to you this Okay, so how to navigate around the student page is very, very simple. If you look up here, you will see your own profile. That is where you find your account info, any, any further additional private uh, information about yourself. Here, the little question mark is how you can contact Cambly. Okay, if you want to contact Cambly about uh, some technical issues, you've got um, questions, about your um, your membership with Cambly. You just click on here. Now these, just wait for the page to load. You will see that Cambly has done very, very well to already provide a lot of answers to a lot of frequently asked questions. However, if you do not find your answer there or you still feel that you want to contact Cambly, you simply just click this button, which is to submit a request. Okay, so that should be quite easy. Now, for the sake of the video, I just want to quickly move back onto the uh, student page. Now, if you notice, I'm going to be moving down. I'm going to be moving down to it's a support button. So you'll just click on the support, and then you're going to get pretty immediate contact um, with Cambly okay so just click on that and then up pops a chat box so there you are now then ah uh, for a lot of people wow I'm having an issue with this window here I'm terribly sorry for a lot of people um, you don't know how to send or receive files Okay, now uh, sometimes a teacher will say, oh, can you send me a file? Can you do this? Can you do that? Uh, I want you to send me something or I'm going to send you something and you wonder where it is because it's not in the Cambly classroom. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's actually here. 
all right okay so this is where you can send and receive files it's your Cambly uh, messenger if you like I'm not going to open that up because that actually contains private uh, messages from my very own students and uh, I'm sure you would agree uh, it's better to keep things private okay now moving up to here you've got this progress button this progress button is uh, something that not many students know about they kind of find it by mistake this progress button you can go back and have a look at your lessons now I would like to say that this guy is a friend of mine he's a very good tutor um, he's on Cambly he introduced me to Cambly and he very kindly allowed me to do 15 minutes with him back in October 2021 this is where you can go back and review all of your lessons okay you can review with a video now this is wonderful a very very quick story um, how to really really feel good about yourself and about your teaching on on Cambly uh, I've had a, a, um, on more than one occasion I have had um, students say to me oh teacher I was reviewing my history of the lessons and when I first began with you and I saw how nervous I was in the video to how I am today with you on the videos I can really really feel the difference and I notice a difference and I can see my confidence and all of that has happened in a pretty short space of time so if you want to see your progress that's where to go now moving on to here Cambly also does courses I do need you to know the Cambly courses are very very good but you are not restricted to just using Cambly courses this is why I told you about sharing files uh, you can create your own classroom uh, with the teacher you just need to share files or maybe share the screen and uh, do YouTube classes or uh, other things a very popular classroom is called Ngu daily news okay but if you want to just choose some of the Cambly courses this is where you search for them for example if you wanted to do business English very quickly you click onto that always ladies and gentlemen always read the instructions okay uh, sometimes people want to do things very very quickly I don't really recommend doing things super quickly better to read through the instructions you're gonna be a better student in the end finally guys uh, I've got one minute to explain how the tutors work this for me is super important now uh, I think that you should be very aware of your level okay now if you cannot string too many sentences together guys uh, please just consider for Cambly you're just on a beginner level for now okay so don't be choosing tutors that are going to be teaching you advanced level you will not stay very long on Cambly and we want you to stay and we want you to learn so if you're a beginner look for a tutor here by searching for a beginner tutor okay all right now I think an accent is very very important I've had many students tell me oh uh, teacher Craig you speak with a British accent I've had an American guy telling me I shouldn't talk like this other people have said I've had a British guy telling me I shouldn't talk like this etc etc decide on the accent of the teacher you want to choose and for your safety and sanity don't keep changing very quickly you can choose a tutor by the personality kind and patient, fun and gregarious, scholarly and knowledgeable. I do hope this helps. Bye guys, I'll see you in the Cambly classroom.